Welcome back to the channel. Today we will be taking a look at the University of Bedfordshire. So to get started, we're just going to head on to their website and you can see the University of Bedfordshire is currently taking in applications to apply for summer 2022. So you can click on apply for a course over here and you can begin your application process by simply going on and sending your application on to their email or you can also call on their number for more help. Now, to better understand the university, we are going to take a look at their fees and tuition first, and you can also contact us on the number presented in our about section and in the description of this video that you can consult us on with for any kind of university. So, and if you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more university information and to take a look at other universities, you should view other videos that I have made on different universities in the United Kingdom. Now, to get started, we're going to take a look at the fees. Now, undergraduate fees and postgraduate fees are different at the University of Bedfordshire. Uh, you can scroll down and click on download this year's fees and take a look at the current fees that have been applied for this academic year, which is the year 2022 to 2023. Now, what are foundation degrees and what are undergraduate degrees? So, foundation degrees are usually two-year degrees. These are different from honors degrees. Undergraduate honors courses are usually three-year courses courses and the foundation degrees cost £6,164 for United Kingdom students and then if we take a look at the undergraduate honours degrees usually they range around 9250 for the United Kingdom students but if you are a international student then you will be paying a higher price at £13,500 and it's going to be the same for EU students as it is for United Kingdom students and if we take a look at postgraduate students then the fees in which where you are going to be taking your master's degree and you are going to be taught your master's degree then you are going to be paying around eight thousand five hundred pounds and as an international student you would be paying thirteen thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds and then eight thousand five hundred for eu students as well but it's different for nursing schools it's different for social work it's different for mba and it is different for a postgraduate diploma as well so for a postgraduate diploma you would be paying five thousand six hundred and fifty pounds as a united kingdom student and for a postgraduate diploma you would be paying £9,167 as an international student. Now, there's also another route that you can opt for, which is a part-time undergraduate or postgraduate course that you can choose to opt for, where you would be paying according to the credit hours that you pick. So, for 15 credit, credit hours, you would be paying £771, and then you can go upwards to 90 credit hours, and then you can do the same with postgraduate and research degrees. Now, if you find this information helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this. But these postgraduate fees and undergraduate fees might seem like a bit too much for some people. You might feel that these are a bit too much. You cannot afford these. This is going to make you a bit overwhelmed because these are not just the cost of the entire course. This is the fee that you would be paying per annum, which means per year. So you're going to be paying £9,250 every year for this degree and for a honors degree that you might be doing because most courses are offered as honors courses, you're going to be paying this price for the next three years. And there's also usually a 2% increase by the end when you're graduating. So at the last year that you are in this university, you might be paying 2% uh, more as well. And these are just your tuition costs. You have to also account for your rent. You have to account for uh, accommodation. If you're going to live on campus, then you also have to uh, count in food, you have to count in travel accommodation as well, how you're going to reach your campus, and other expenditures as well. So you need to keep that in mind whenever you're going to estimate the overall budget of your education. But there are many different ways that you can relieve this uh, financial stress by applying for scholarships. So uh, the University of Bedfordshire offers a lot of different scholarships, and if we take a look at their scholarship and bursaries there are six basic types you can see that they offer a 2400 pound grant to all of their united kingdom students so if you are a student from the united kingdom you can get this scholarship if you score a good enough marks which is going to be 112 ucas chart points or more so that is just what you need to score to get the scholarship for the rest of your academic year now they have other scholarships as well they have a sports scholarship where we can take a look at the eligibility criteria 
criteria so you can see you get financial support in these forms so if you have a gold official or a gold perform you get 500 pounds and if you're a platinum performer you get a thousand pounds and then you also have other packages as such as the aspire gym membership you get scholarship kits you also get sports membership on these as well and then the total value of the other facilities that you are going to get at the university of bedfordshire is going to amount to up to 1000 and 40 pounds and towards 1660 pounds on the platinum perform so there are many different scholarships like these and if we take a look at the eligibility criteria you need to be a regional country national international player and play within the last 12 months so it's very essential that you are still a active player then you need to be a home eu or international student be an undergraduate or postgraduate student and or you can even uh, receive the scholarship when you have just been accepted into a university's course so once you are accepted you can apply for the course as soon as you get accepted so you don't have to even pay the initial first year fees before you join the university now there is a 1500 pound bursary for united kingdom students as well but there's also a international scholarship so international students might feel like uh, their fees are already higher than the rest of the community and they have to pay a lot more but there is a 1000 pound vc scholarship that you can receive uh, for good marks and you will receive this within the first year of a new course and a 500 pound alumni discount so you can get additional discounts of 500 as well at the postgraduate level so if you are a alumni of this university you are going to definitely be able to get different scholarships to lower the tuition costs that you are going to incur now you might be wondering that the university of bedfordshire oh, okay the tuition is good the financing plans are good enough you have a good scholarship method what is the ranking of this university well the university of bedfordshire is ranked 67th out of the 130 united kingdom universities so it is not a top tier university but it is not a university that you can easily uh, scum away and just say oh it is not uh something that i'm interested in it is a good university where you will be able to see not only high achievers good sports players but a overall balanced environment and you can also see that they have been uh, working with uh, tesco as well so the university of bedfordshire won the contract to provide higher level apprenticeships to tesco employees and the all university was also awarded a silver award in the first ever teaching excellence framework in june so you can see that the university is really working on their uh, educational system it is a good laid out method and they do have a lot of presets in mind on how to educate you and how to groom you with the perfect courses now if you found this video helpful and if you found the information to be relevant and if this is going to help you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and contact us on the number provided in our about section of the youtube channel to get more information and consultancy about any kind of university that you are looking in now we are going to take a look at some of the courses of the university of bedfordshire so if you take a look at the courses over here so you can see there are many different courses and we're going to take a focus on the undergraduate courses and now you can also click on how to apply open days and webinars and order prospectus so you can get a detailed information about the university but if we take a look over here they have listed all of their basic sections of the university so they have everything from business computing psychology performing arts accounting engineering uh, nursing, life sciences and more and we're going to take a look at some of their business programs so if we open up uh, this business section you can see all of the different uh, degrees that are being awarded at the University of Bedfordshire for business courses so you can see a lot of these are honors and some of these are foundation as well but we're going to take a look at the simple honors in business administration or business studies so we can see over here we have a uh, business administration uh, that focuses on event management then we also have administration focusing on finance and audit focusing on human resource management so you have a specific business administration for these distinct features within business administration we're going to take a look at the events management honors program that they offer now once you click on the program you have the duration you have the campus location attendance the start date of the course then you can also click on download course specification and this will open up the pdf where you can see more uh, detailed information uh, that you usually would get in brochures 
Now, if we scroll down over here, you can take a look at the learning support. You also will be provided with the course structure. So you can take a look at the unit names that you would be taught in within this course. And then if you scroll down over here, you will also receive the assessment plan. So you can already prepare. You can begin your preparation for your university courses as well. And then you can also see which subjects or which of these units are going to be core or option. So you can see all four of these are core subjects and then you also have the option to opt for certain subjects in certain courses as well and then you also have administrative information you can see who is the current head and who is the course coordinator for this course so you can better plan your travel you can better organize how and when you are going to join this course so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and if you still need any help Make sure to contact us in the number provided in the about page and I will catch you guys in the next video.